everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas episode 3. Uh, so if you have watched Vlogmas episode 1 and episode 2, you will know that we are doing Vlogmas with a twist. Uh, we're doing 25 days of Disney Parks travel tips. So every single day from the 1st of December to the 25th, I'll be doing a Disney Parks travel tips for Disney Parks around the world. And actually today, we are going back to my favourite park and that is Tokyo Disney Resort. So let's go. So my tip today for the Tokyo Disney Resort is actually going to be about Tokyo Disney Resort's unique snacks. Actually, I'm not too sure if they're all completely unique, but these are good snacks that you can have when you're in Tokyo Disney Resort. So the snack that Tokyo Disney Resort is pretty famous for is probably the popcorn. It's probably a, it's not the first time that you guys have heard about this. The popcorn is so famous in Tokyo Disney Resort. Uh, if you go to Disneyland or Disney Sea in Tokyo, you will see popcorn carts everywhere and they will all be selling mostly all of them be selling a different flavor uh, so if you go around the parks uh, you'll see a uh, chocolate flavor popcorn strawberry flavor popcorn soy sauce flavor caramel which is pretty standard um my favorite which is honey uh, also some other crazy things such as curry and a few others uh, they also have seasonal ones actually there's some seasonal versions of popcorn which pop up every so often so my recommendation for the best flavor is definitely honey and one of my favorite things to do when i'm at tokyo disney resort is buy some honey popcorn and then join the winnie the pooh ride queue it's called pooh's honey hunt so join the queue eat your popcorn and then ride the winnie the pooh ride it's awesome Popcorn is a really awesome snack at Tokyo Disney Resort and I think Tokyo Disney Resort knows it. They also sell, along with popcorn, popcorn buckets. Now you can buy popcorn by itself just in sort of a paper cardboardy thing. Carton. Carton is what it's called. But you can also buy uh, the popcorn with a popcorn bucket and the popcorn buckets vary across the parks and seasonally. There's some that you just can't buy anymore because they've all sold out and they probably won't bring them back. So you can get popcorn buckets in the shape of RT D2, Winnie the Pooh, Stitch, I've seen a Dumbo one in Fantasyland, there's a whole host of them and they're absolutely amazing. They're pretty good figures as well but they're sort of all like their molding is pretty good so they're and they're a really really good size. If you pop over to Tokyo Disney Resort you'll see loads of kids and adults going around the park eating popcorn from their popcorn buckets whilst they're in the queue. Now a lot of snacks in Tokyo Disney Resort are actually seasonal. They'll have one specifically for summer, winter, autumn and spring. That's the season and I missed. Uh, but quickly, just a few that don't really change too much in the season. Uh, Tokyo Disney Resort sells a lot of churros. Uh, they also sell churros in different flavors. I think strawberry is probably my favorite flavor of churro. And they're actually quite cute because if you look at the intersection of the churro, it's shaped like a Mickey. I don't think I have an image to show you, which is really sad, but uh, you go and check it out somewhere else on YouTube because it's really cute. It has just, if you cut it, if you cut it or bite into it, you'll see that it has a little Mickey shape. It's really awesome. You you can also get turkey legs in Tokyo Disney Resort. Uh, I've not had a turkey leg, I'm yet to do that, uh, but they usually sell them both in Disneyland and Disney Sea. Uh, the Disneyland is naturally in the Frontierland area, somewhere around there. And if you want to pick up a turkey leg in Disney Sea, it's by Fortress Explorations and they will sell them there. Another fan favorite for Tokyo Disney food, which isn't seasonal, is the alien, the, from the Toy Story alien mochi ice creamy things yes <laughs> i'm sure they're ice cream i can't quite remember it's been a while since i've had one but if you go to tokyo disney sea right by toy story mania you should see a cart that sells uh, the the toy story aliens mochi balls they're like if you don't know what mochi is mochi is a kind of a glutinous rice dumpling which is sweet and usually has something sweet on the inside uh, these uh, these are really quite cool actually these ones are shaped like the aliens from toy story and they come in chocolate uh, strawberry and vanilla flavor I believe and you have no idea what you're getting so um, you'll get one of each in the in the little pack uh, they look super cute and you just bite into them and see what you've got they're all good though uh, so you definitely should go and get them and uh, they do take a pretty good Instagram picture as well now I mentioned earlier that Tokyo Disney Resort food is highly seasonal and it really really is to get an idea of what foods available in the parks when you go make sure you pick up a today program it's actually a Japanese little booklet which shows um, 
merchandise, food, and other such things which are available that season. So usually people miss picking it up because it's in Japanese and you feel like you're not gonna understand it. So they miss when they go to Tokyo Disney Resort and they don't get all the information. My recommendation is to pick one of those up anyway because even if you can't read the Japanese, you'll be able to see the pictures of all the cool seasonal stuff that's available. Now I used to go a lot to Tokyo Disneyland in the winter season. I spent a couple of Christmas days there a few years ago and one of my favorite things to pick up when we were there was the, was the hot chocolate, which they would always sell in the Toontown area right at the back of the park. The most recent time that I went to Tokyo Disneyland was actually in summer and there was a host of really great snacks for summer. Summer is so hot in Japan uh, that one of the famous things that they serve in Tokyo Disney Resort is kakigori, shaved ice with flavors on top. Uh, we had mikan flavor, which was an orange. I think I had a strawberry or raspberry flavor at one point as well and one that was blue, I can't quite remember. But they're all really good and in summer it makes a huge difference uh, to have something like that to cool you off. Liam's favorite snack though was the mango on, the frozen mango on a stick. It's half a frozen mango on a stick and uh, you can pick this up near the Indiana Jones ride in Tokyo Disney Sea. It's super, super cold though, so they have lots of warnings to not to bite into it. But it's another thing that will cool you off pretty nicely on a hot summer's day. Naturally in summer, because it's so hot in Japan, most of the snacks will be frozen. And actually my favorite one is also another frozen snack. It is uh, the sea shell salt ice cream. Yes, I hope I have some footage of this because this thing is awesome. So the sea shell salt ice cream is a wafer with a salty sweet ice cream inside of it. The salty sweet ice cream thing is kind of a Japanese thing from certain regions of Japan, but they encase it in this seashell wafer and it's absolutely fantastic. You can buy it in a couple of places, I think in the Atlantica area, Mermaid Lagoon, or in the Mysterious Island by the Journey to the Center of the Earth ride, they sell it there too. And it is brilliant. If you go to Walt Disney World over the summer months, definitely get it. They may sell it all year round. So if you're going not in summer, hunt it down anyway. It is awesome. One of the things that shocked me when I went to Tokyo Disney Resort for the first time was how many tins of biscuits and other foods that you could buy to give to your friends and colleagues and families as souvenirs when you left the park. This is kind of a thing in Japan. If you go on vacation, you bring souvenirs back for everybody that you work with and go to school with and all your family. So big tins of biscuits and other such things such as chocolates are really popular there. And they're actually pretty good snacks as well. Uh, one of my favorite snacks from the last trip was a little tin of Alice and Wonderland chocolate. They were absolutely delicious and we actually had a few other snacks with them. Uh, we had some watermelon flavored biscuits and some chocolate rice crackers with Chippendale or inside of the Chippendale box. They were really quite cool. So they're not officially sort of Tokyo Disney Resort snacks. They're kind of like sort of souvenirs that you bring home with you, uh, but you can treat them as snacks and we did whilst we were waiting for Fantasmic in Disney Sea uh, back in summer. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas episode four. Okay, thanks everyone, bye.